Alright, what is going on guys? I'm here to start Unspeakable Gaming and today we're going to be taking a look at the unique artifacts mod for Minecraft. This mod is going to add in these awesome unique artifacts, traps, and a lot more. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First off, the first thing you know need to know about the unique artifacts mod is that it adds in, of course, unique artifacts. Like the ones we have displayed on these awesome little pestles looking things right here. So we have this really weird looking sword, then we have this necklace, and then we have this chest full of random stuff that I pulled out and there's so many things that this mod um adds in so we have like a uh rings we have stuff that does a whole bunch of special stuff for you and you're probably wondering where can i find this stuff well you can actually find this stuff that's actually generated in chests so for example we have a village right here obviously and this village sadly does not have a um a blacksmith shop which is where the chests are because it's really generated weirdly and it just doesn't have a blacksmith shop but if this village did have a blacksmith shop we could go in there and we could find one of the chests and one of those chests will be containing items kind of like the ones in this chest right here so you're probably wondering wait well how did you get these items in this chest right here well i'm going to show you that in creative mode if you go under the combat tab and you click this little gold sword right here that's called artifact you can pick it up just like this I have it right here in my hand and you can put it in your inventory and right when you put it down it changes into a completely random artifact so there's no really actually any artifacts like for example if I go over to the tab uh, these are just traps so that's the only way you can get the artifacts so they're completely random like the ones that I'm seeing right now are totally different than all the ones that I pulled right here so I'm assuming there's like hundreds of them and they all do special things and they're really freaking cool so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these away and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of these artifacts and then we'll take a look at the traps and the crafting recipes for the traps so that's how this video is gonna go so we have some artifacts here let's go ahead and look at them let's look at the first one the we're not gonna go through all of these by the way so don't worry the unbreaking fragment gold ring of flight okay so and then it gives usually they give you a little description of what it does so it shoots fireballs when inflicting damage explodes when interacting with entities allows walking on air when held and it has unbreaking three okay so this thing looks pretty freaking cool so what does it have shoots fireballs when inflected with damage so whenever i'm inflected with damage with a mob so i'm assuming if a zombie were to attack me then it would probably um start shooting fireballs which is kind of weird and then right now what i'm doing i'm walking on air air i believe so like if i were to uh how allows walking on air when held so if i just keep walking will it um how, how do, i don't get how the air walking thing maybe we have to be in game mode zero so if i just keep walking straight i don't know how the air walking thing is that's that's kind of weird but okay let's move on to the next one some of these i don't know how to use because i've never even seen them before some of them will give you special abilities whenever they're in your invent inventory and it's pretty cool so let's look for one that like uh does cool things hmm like this one for example it extra drops from ore so if you have this thing in your inventory and you're mining then it will drop more um ores than normally so if you have like an iron pickaxe and you mine it out and it only drops one iron this will probably make it drop two irons then it has also other stuff like weapon damage effective pickaxe stuff like that uh this one will give you jump boost so right when we put it in our inventory we can see the little potion effects and we have jump boost it's even even though it says zero we'll have it as long as it's in our inventory so for example if we were to throw it out of our inventory we would have no longer have jump boost then we just pick it up don't even have to touch it and we are instantly have jump boost even if we put it like up here in our inventory it doesn't matter as long as it's in your inventory you will have that special ability which is pretty cool and then they have also some things like these which provides illumination and it also does some other things so this is what this is going to do if we would go ahead and do time set eighteen thousand. I believe, see, this kind of provides light when we walk alone, which is actually pretty cool. So if we keep walking, you can tell that the light just gets bigger, and wow, that's actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and back over time set zero, which is daytime, and that is going to be our repairing gold staff of light, which is pretty cool. So let's look at some other things. Let's look at something. I want to look at something that, um, I don't know, like throws something hmm explodes when destroying blocks okay that sounds interesting the fragmenting iron sword of dark vision so this is going to give you night vision when you use two minutes uh so when you ex uh, um okay so it says what does it say explodes when destroying blocks so 
Um, whoa, <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so whenever you destroy a block, it obviously explodes. I, I'm assuming this would be very useful for if you wanted to mine things really fast, like if you found a cluster of iron ores and you just want to mine them out really quick, then I guess that could be pretty cool. And right now we have night vision for two minutes because we, we just started using it, but obviously I'm in daytime, so I don't think it really affects us very much. So next, let's look at some other things. Um, ooh, shoot fireballs when used, awesome. So let's check out this thing. So so, awesome. So when we hold this, we obviously have jump boost, and then we can also right click, and it will shoot fireballs. There's actually going to be a lot of artifacts that I've found to shoot fireballs, so which is pretty cool. And also, there's tons and tons of other effects, and they're just really freaking cool. Let's took let's take a look at about two or one more thing. So, um, fragmenting gold ring. Let's take a look at that. And then let's take a look at, hmm, let's take a look at the water breathing, water breathing one. So let me go ahead and go, whoa, why am I hurting? Oh, I'm in quicksand, my bad. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you that later. I'll show you that later. Okay, so here we have some water. So let's go ahead and go back into, whoops, game mode zero. And we are holding this ring. It says water breathing when used for 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and jump underwater. And, hmm. Is it not working? Oh, we have to right click it. Okay, so when we right click the ring, okay, so yeah, now we have the water breathing effect. Water breathing two for 60 seconds, my bad. So we have to right click uh, for some for some of these effects to work. We sadly have to right click them. And even when I get out of the water, I saw the effect. This is gonna be the water breathing one. It also has some other things like speed boost and slowly uh, repairs itself, which are pretty cool. And then explodesments when, or th this one explodes when used, the fragmenting gold ring. So we can just, I guess we can just go through here and explode stuff which is pretty cool let me go and back over into game mode creative or game mode or creative whatever and yeah we can just click on stuff and explode it. i wonder if you can explode stuff in the distance no you can't okay so it's only when you're actually clicking on the block you can explode stuff so that is pretty cool that is going to do it for our artifacts now of course there is tons 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 and tons more artifacts but i don't want to go through all these artifacts because obviously if i went through all of them because we can just pull out random ones like we'll probably pr probably pull out this one and i don't think we've even seen that one we, i mean there's just so many like we haven't seen a skull yet that's pretty cool or that what the heck is that damage resistance okay that's pretty cool so obviously there's tons tons of artifacts if you would really like to check all these out for yourself i don't really know how you're gonna do it because they're all like so random and stuff but yeah they're pretty sweet so if we go into creative mode and we go over a tab and we go under the traps you will see all these awesome looking traps and kind of things that you can do and mess with now you will actually find some of these in the wizard towers and sadly i could not find a wizard tower apparently according to the form page there's like wizard towers and stuff like that uh sadly if you go through your world world they're supposed to randomly generate and i generated tons of new worlds i searched for about 20 minutes and for um, finally, I'm just like, you know what, forget it. I can't find them. And also, you can find the unique artifacts in those wizard towers, but also you can find them in randomly generated chests or actually vanilla generated chests, I guess you could say. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the traps and some of the interesting things. Sadly, there's a skeleton dying over there if you hear that noise. So first off, let's take a look at how to craft some of these things. But before we take a look at the traps, we're going to take a look at these things right here that hold your unique artifacts. So these are going to be called, um, what are they called? Uh, I think they're right here. Display pedestal. Yeah, display pedestals. Okay, so these are these have a really simple crafting recipe. And you, you can actually get two of them by using um, some glass panes and three pieces is a stone right there and you can get two of those display pedals and simply to put your stuff in there you can simply just right uh right click on it and you can get it you can even take it out so if i wanted to put i don't know this thing in here so i would right click and then i would put it in there and it's simple just like that and it shows up right there so that's pretty cool so next let's take a look at this thing right here let's see what this is called because i don't remember all the names of them this is called the upright spikes basically what these do is when you get onto them whoa look there's even blood effects okay that's cool so whenever you uh step on them or walk on them or whatever fall on them um, you will get injured i don't know if these instantly kill you but it's probably gonna do a lot of damage that's why obviously i'm in creative mode so i'm not getting uh, hurt so if i were to switch over into survival i don't know if it instantly kills you because i don't want to lose all this stuff because i, I don't want to spawn like across the world you know what i mean but yeah so that's that and also there's this awesome cool blood effect so that is pretty freaking cool uh let me go ahead and show you the crafting recipe for that if you're interested the upright spikes is crafted with three piece three pieces of stone slabs and ironing it's if you're wondering what this mod right here that i'm using is called the crafting guide so you can go check that out next is going to be the arrow trap now this is actually pretty cool because it can shoot multiple arrows at you and it also blends in with your surroundings so obviously i have it on dirt right now so it's kind of blending in with the dirt 
there if i were to put it on stone or something else then you can see like the picture it's on stone so that's pretty cool so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at the arrow trap let me go ahead and show you the crafting recipe for that the arrow trap is crafted with just a normal dispenser and a painting so that's pretty cool and then if we go ahead and switch it so if we were to just switch that you can see it shoots multiple arrows at one time because there's like four little dots and that's where the arrows shoot and that's also where the arrows come out so they're not going to come out of this side they're going to come out of this side with all the little dots so if we were to go ahead and right click uh let's do that again so it shoots like uh three four arrows at a time that was two that was two i believe I, I guess it's just two i thought it was four okay yeah so it shoots multiple arrows at a time and you can also incorporate some things like these wall pressure plates which we will get into next is going to be quicksand um i don't think there's a crafting yeah there's a crafting recipe for that so quicksand is crafted with dirt and a potion of harming or instant damage potion whatever you want to call it so what quick scan does to you is it's obviously a quick sand. Now, obviously it's not hurting me because I'm in creative mode. So let's go ahead and switch over to game mode zero. Let's go ahead and hop in here and you can tell that it starts hurting me and I so slowly kind of fall into it and I get stuck in it. And eventually I think it's, I don't know if he's just gonna change this because right now I'll admit the quick sand kind of sucks, but it is what it is and I think it's pretty cool. So let's take a look at the wall plate. So we have a wall plate and then we have a wall obsidian plate. So one's just gonna be a wall plate and one's just gonna be obsidian plate so you're probably wondering what the heck do those things do well you can run into them and they're kind of like pressure plates but for the wall so you can tell that these send a redstone circuit whenever i run into them so they're kind of like pressure plates on the wall so if you're walking down like a it would be really cool if you incorporate into a venture map if you're walking down like an aisle or something and you happen to run into the wall and then it sets off tnt or something that would be pretty cool so let me go ahead and show you the crafting recipes for those things the wall plate is crafted with three pieces of stone just like that and you get two of them and then the wall obsidian plate is uh, pretty much the same thing just with obsidian you also get two of them and then we actually have invisible pressure plates i believe this uh invisible visible pressure plate got blown up or is it still there obviously it's got it's blown up because uh we had the thing right so right there so we have invisible pressure plates which is like the normal ones and then we have the invisible obsidian plates which is like the obsidian ones now obviously they're invisible so it doesn't really matter but matter but you can kind of see the outline of them and then we step on them they'll obviously give a redstone circuit and the obsidian one and the normal one is obviously going to do the same thing and obviously you can't see either one of them so no matter where i pressure them you obviously can't see them but yeah they're going, going to be invisible and they're pretty cool there's also some other invisible things that are used these are used in the wizard things fortunately like i said uh, i couldn't find any of these they're like invisible blocks basically so they're pretty cool oh that wasn't okay that one's illusionary that one's not invisible actually oh you can walk through that one that's pretty cool so it looks like a block but it's not actually a block that is weird and then we have invisible blocks right here uh these unfortunately don't have any crafting recipes i think you can only find these wizard towers and i don't think you can get them either if you try to like mine them so really guys that is going to do it for the unique artifacts mod for minecraft hopefully you've enjoyed hopefully you think it's an interesting mod i think it's pretty cool because you can take that gold sword and you can put it in your inventory and it gives you like a completely random artifact and you have no idea what it can do it's completely random and no one else has found that artifact before so it's pretty sweet remember that these uh artifacts you can find them if you don't want to get them in creative mo mode you can find them in a vanilla generated chest like a, a village behind us or something like that or a blacksmith or uh what 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 are some other things um the dungeons and stuff like that yeah stuff like that so really guys it's going to be about it i'm gonna quit my rumbling hopefully you've enjoyed this unique artifacts mod from minecraft uh thumbs up ratings definitely appreciated if you haven't subscribed i definitely recommend it because i do a lot of awesome stuff like this on my channel and yeah i'm on Gaming, and i'll see you guys later peace